It's time for another Engineering Manager pop quiz. What would you do in this scenario? For context, you manage five engineers, one of whom is Andy, a senior engineer and tech lead on one of your product teams. Let's hop into their planning meeting. Okay, uh, next week, I'm gonna build out the back end for the Analytics API. All oh, right, yeah, finally, awesome. yes. and not that any of you should care, but I've decided that I'm gonna use Elixir for that implementation. Andy, all of our current services are running in TypeScript, running in Node. It's what our team knows and what our tooling supports. Unless you have a great reason for why we should add Elixir to the stack, I really wanna stick to the tech we have in place. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to understand Stand. I'm the tech lead here, and that's the language that I want to use. I've been reading up, dabbling a bit, and now I want to use it in broad. If we can't all contribute to the code base, then we're going to have problems when something goes wrong. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem. But if I were managing this team, I would want everybody to learn as many different things as possible to help with their careers. Please build the Analytics API in TypeScript. We can talk about Elixir when we Yeah, talk, talk, talk. Hey, isn't it next week that we get to submit manager feedback? Okay, cool. As Andy's manager, what do you do here? Pause if you need to think about it. My thoughts in three, two, one. Got it. Okay, Andy, let's uh, you and I chat for a few minutes right after this. Andy, I'm not happy right now. That makes two of us. Is there something else going on with you outside of work? Nope. All good. Well, when we're here, you know that I expect everyone on the team to be vocal, helpful, dependable, and kind. I'm vocal. You are, and I appreciate you being vocal when you do so constructively. In that meeting though, I felt attacked, undermined by your comments about if I were managing the team. I felt threatened when you mentioned the manager feedback, like I should fear something you're gonna say in your review. I'm just confused by these constant jabs from you. We gotta be working together, and that was not cool. Vocal, yes. Dependable, yes. Helpful and kind, no. I expect you to set a better example for the team. Okay, boss. So there you have it. I do three things. First, immediately after seeing the behavior I want to address, I grab Andy to chat one-on-one. -on -one. It's not the disagreement about the tech that concerns me. It's his unhealthy, subversive, entitled tone and his abandonment of our team principles. Second, I make clear the behavior I saw and the behavior I expect instead. And third, I use personal feeling statements. I felt attacked, undermined, threatened, confused to make constructive remarks that he cannot contest. He can't contest my feelings. Would you have handled it differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to try another pop quiz, give this one a go right here.